Hey, Pastor Ray Barnett here with you. Glad that you could be with me here on the Oasis. And as always, I wish you a good morning, a good evening, or a good afternoon, depending on what time you're watching this broadcast. Beautiful day here in upstate New York. It's in the 40s, but still too cold to be outside. So we're here in my library. And uh, that will have to do for the next several months until... The birds start to sing again in the springtime. I want to talk to you today about facts versus interpretation of facts. Since this channel is devoted to good mental health and it comes from a distinctly Christian point of view, though today maybe um, this is just a general truth you know you don't have to be a christian to understand it in fact many of these teachings i give you you don't have to be uh, necessarily a christian to understand it they're just uh, the principles of physiology and of the mind although this is i am a pastor and this is a uh, a christian broadcast so if you watch my messages that i do on facebook primarily they're also on youtube But my daily Bible study is, um, well, it's something new I just started last week. And um, it's it's only on Facebook. But during those teachings, again, if you've, if you've seen them, I don't know. During those teachings, I used an illustration. I want you to think about this, and I want you to really listen carefully. Here's an eight-ounce glass. Right? There it is. Eight ounces. There's only four in the glass. Four ounces exactly. And so we hear the old adage, is the glass half empty or is the glass half full? First of all, both are true. It's both half empty and half full. But we use this as a way of um, uh, determining if someone is negative or positive, whether they have an optimistic view or a pessimistic view. So someone looks at the glass and they say, hey, it's half full. Good news. Got four ounces of water left. Somebody else sees the same exact glass and they say, wow, glass is half empty. What are we going to do? But here's the thing. This is what I want to get across to you today. However one views the glass, the fact does not change. There's precisely four ounces of water in it. Now think about that. It's actually very deep and going to be very, hopefully it'll be very helpful to you, very helpful to me. The fact of the matter is there's four ounces in this particular glass, four ounces of water. And if someone says it's half full, well, they're correct. If someone says it's half empty, likewise, they're correct. But the point of view that one takes is not as important to what I want to get across is that there's only four ounces no matter how You look at it, no matter what your point of view is, it's only four ounces. Now, where this becomes important is in how you interpret your health. Here we're talking about mental health. And how you interpret your symptoms. So, After uh, repeating myself so often because I have to, new subscribers tune in. I don't want anyone to get the idea I'm giving medical advice. I'm not. I'm a pastor. I'm a doctor, but I'm not a medical doctor. How you view your symptoms is critical. So, I have a palpitation, and this individual over here, they have a palpitation. And for argument's sake, we will say they are precisely the same palpitations in two different bodies. This person says, I'm having a heart attack. I'm going to die. I, I, I can't take this anymore. And, and so on. I say, well, just palpitation. 
they're not really all that much to get excited about always keeping in mind got to get checked out by a competent medical professional once they've ruled out valves are good arteries are good heart is fine and on and on and they can't find anything um, wrong with you physically and you know it's a nervous symptom because you've been diagnosed now your point of view becomes very important we want the view that we are secure rather than the point of view which breeds insecurity. The insecurity is fears, anxiety. It breeds more symptoms. The symptoms increase, they get larger, they get worse. You have new symptoms. And then the person who thinks in terms of security concerning symptoms, nervous symptoms, they just relax. And as they relax, the palpitations will go down go away, disappear. Sometimes they go away actually very quickly. And have I had them? I've definitely had them. I've had them. And I had them, I told you this in case you didn't hear it. I had them, oh, I don't know how many years ago that is now. 12 years ago. Uh, they were pretty dramatic. They weren't your ordinary, just a skip beat. It was, it was, they were painful and odd and strange and like, more like an explosion. Yet, I was checked out by electrophysiologist, my regular cardiologist, and uh, my doctor, my regular primary care, and everybody said, no, your heart's fine. Once I knew that, then I said, okay, the glass is half full. There's nothing wrong. Three doctors have told me there's nothing wrong. So you see, the fact that a glass has four ounces of water is a fact. The fact that you have palpitations, and that's one among thousands of symptoms that you may have or could have. How you interpret those symptoms, that's critical. Symptom is a symptom. But if you interpret it in terms of insecurity, it's going to be bad. It's not going to be good. You're going to start getting hysterical. Or maybe you don't get hysterical. You're going to have a cycle of panic. It lasts for hours, days, weeks, months. It lasts for years. That's the truth. But if your point of view and, your, uh, and you accept the fact that this is a distressing symptom that really poses no danger, palpitations coming from my nervous sy system, then you're going to relax. And as you relax, you take pressure off the nervous system. And as you take pressure off the nervous symptom, your symptoms dissipate, then they disappear. Now, a very simple teaching today. A fact is a fact. Four ounces of water is four ounces of water. The optimist says it's half full, thank God. The pessimist, a pessimist says it's half empty, what are we going to do? And they get all agitated. You must interpret your symptoms and again, to be very clear about this, making sure they're nervous symptoms and not a medical condition. You must interpret your symptoms in terms of security that as distressing and uh, even tormenting as these symptoms can be, they're not dangerous to your health. You're not in any danger. So simple. It's a simple lesson today. Facts versus interpretation of facts. It makes all the difference in the world. Cast your care upon the Lord, for he cares for you, 1 Peter 5, 7. Um, let the Lord... Well, Jesus, I just read on my other broadcast, my, Jesus just... I just read what Jesus said. Let not your heart be troubled. Don't let your heart be troubled. Don't let yourself become afraid. The Bible's filled with exhortations like that. Be not afraid, fear not, and so on. So let me, let me pray for you today and let me exhort you to interpret your symptoms in terms of security that you're going to be okay. You're going to be all right. Father, touch my friends once again and let them know that they're going to be all right. Help them to interpret their symptoms, whatever they may be, with a point of view of security 
and not of insecurity. And then they'll be able to relax and become spontaneous again and not be tormented with their thoughts and their physical symptoms. And I pray all this today in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, that's all I have for you for today, but it's a, it's a profound one. Facts versus interpretation of facts. So, make sure that you interpret your uh, symptoms in terms of security rather than in terms of insecurity, because that's going to make all the difference in the world. Always remember, let the peace of Christ dwell in your heart. Lord willing, God willing, I'll be with you here again tomorrow on the Oasis. Thanks for being with me.